Ford Focus and Fiesta 2012 through 2018. A common question I get, for example, would be, can I use a 2017 or 2017 model Ford Focus transmission and a 2013 Ford Focus? I want to address that in this video. Real quick, I do sell threads now, link in the description. All right, so in the past, what I've said is that you can't use a newer one and an older one. For example, an 18 model transmission and a 14 model Focus. However, I have found some information online here. Actually, a subscriber of mine found the information. Get to that information here in just a second. But just to be clear, the uh, 2015 through 2018 Ford Focus and Fiesta transmissions have a different calibration than the 2012 through 2014 models. So if you put a 2018 model focus transmission and a 2013, for example, you're gonna to have to have the 2018 calibration loaded into the TCM. Now this can be easily done by just simply reusing the TCM that came on your used transmission that you bought. But if it's an outdated TCM and you wanna move yours over to the new transmission that you got or used transmission, then you're gonna to have to program the correct calibration into it. Now down to the information that I've come across here that a subscriber shared with me. And the information does seem legit too. Um, the shims on the input speed sensors, input shaft speed sensors on the uh, side of the transmission, apparently the shims are different sizes um, between the uh, years. For example, 2012 through 2014 model uh, focuses have a 3.5 millimeter and a 3.2 millimeter thick shim um, on the input shaft speed sensors. So if the used transmission that you get has three and a half roughly millimeter thick shims on those two sensors, then you're going to need a 2012 through 2014 calibration loaded into the TCM for that transmission to work. Now if the used transmission you have does have a two millimeter and one and a half millimeter shim on those sensors, then you'll need a 2015 through 2018 model calibration loaded into the TCM. The differences uh, should be visually obvious. However, if you're not sure, I would get a pair of cali digital calipers. You can probably get them for 15 or $20 on Amazon. And um, you don't even have to take the sensor off necessarily um, to measure them. You should be able to get you know, a good rough estimate uh, without taking all that apart, but you're welcome to. You can take one of the sensors out and uh, measure the thickness of it with the calipers. And if it's around three and a half, then it's, you're gonna need the older calibration. And if it's about one and a half to two millimeters on one of them, uh, then you're gonna need the newer calibration. The easy way to get the calibration, I'd say is get a used TCM off of whatever year model focus, the junkyard that you need calibration for. So let's say you have a 2013 model focus and you're installing a used 2017 model transmission. You can go to a junkyard and find a 2017 or 2018 model Focus, take the TCM off of it, and bolt it right on your transmission, and all you have to do is a clutch touch point learn. If you're going to be working on your Focus a lot, I recommend eManual Online. The manual that they give you is literally the workshop manual. I worked at Ford for over 10 years, and I looked through the manual they gave me for the Focus, and it's exactly the <laughs> workshop manual, just in a PDF format. It's uh, almost 800 megabytes worth of information there, well worth the price. And it's got all the torque specs and removal and installation procedures that you can ask for. I've got a link below for 22% off. They're not a sponsor, but I do get a commission off the sales. So if you're interested in that, check it out. Um, and one final thing I want to mention, which um, may be a great option for you, is something called Tom's Tune. You'll order a tuner. I think it's around $500 for the tuner. And um, you can just explain, you know, your situation that you uh, need a calibration for this year model in your 2012 Focus, for example. And, um, you know, he'll make that happen. I think the tuner, if I didn't say already, is about 500. Pretty sure I said that. And that would make things very easy for you. You just hook the tuner up and program the transmission. You don't have to do anything special there. And supposedly that tune he has uh, prolongs the life of the clutch. So kind of a win-win there. I've never tried one myself, but I'd like to try that tune. Just haven't uh, shelled out the cash for it yet. So, But yeah, there you go. Um, I think it's pretty amazing that you can um, you know, use any year model transmission and any year model focus. Just a few extra steps if you want to use a newer one, but you can do it. You can definitely do it. Something great to uh, keep in mind there. Kind of gets rid of some of the confusion, at least I had before, where I wasn't sure about that. But uh, 
Now I am. This is it. This is how you can use a newer one, a newer transmission, and an older focus. And yeah, guys, I sure do hope this video helps. Um, I've got a Facebook and Discord group. If you've got any questions, you can join there or you can comment below. The fastest way to reach me is probably going to be the Discord group. Happy to help. And I've got a playlist full of uh, Ford Focus transmission videos. Probably about 100 videos in there now to uh, help you diagnose any of your uh, Focus transmission issues or Fiesta. How to remove the transmission at home. How to replace the clutch and the forks and those special tools. How to inspect the synchronizers. You name it. <laughs> you have, your, have yourself a great day. And once again, I hope the video helps. All right. Bye-bye.